Hey, I'm Callum, this is How to Draw Sydney Harbour Bridge in a thoughtful art tutorial aimed at anyone and everyone. Firstly, find yourself a reference image of the internet. The most important thing is that you look at your image for a long time before you start drawing. Ask yourself what it is about the bridge that you think makes it so recognisable. Start with the shapes, get your three primary shapes and get the road bridge in, and then make sure you place the supporting towers correctly and then go match the arch and spend the most time getting that right. Once you've done that, it's then pretty straightforward. You can literally just go back and work from the image, copying in details, things like the supporting bits underneath the bridge, as I'm doing now, filling in details around, around the edges of each line to kind of give it a slightly more three-dimensional feel. I want this to be a sort of fun kind of drawing for anyone to do, just as a bit of relaxation, a bit of a de-stress. So don't worry about it being accurate. So with any of these landmarks, they're icons both culturally but also visually as well. You have to ask yourself, what is it that makes them unique? What is it that makes them distinctive? How can you replicate that in drawing? It's not the details, it's actually the overall form, it's the shape that's going to be the important thing. It doesn't have to be photorealistic in order to make it recognisable. The thing that makes it recognisable is not the detail, but getting the shape accurate. Fun facts about the bridge, it was opened on the 19th of March in 1932, it is over a kilometre long and cost a little over 6 million Australian dollars to build. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, you should definitely consider subscribing or if you're old here but you haven't yet. I have done a bunch of videos exploring London's architecture and I'm going to continue doing that along with some more videos a bit like this where I'm sort of doing fun, relaxed tutorial style videos of world landmarks and hopefully I'll talk a bit more about architecture related stuff as well in the future.